good morning, everyone, and welcome along here to the Newcastle Entertainment Centre. Ben Naiman is my name from Main Event Television. We've got a very, very exciting fight that is coming back here to Newcastle after the great success of what we saw between Tim Zhu and Dennis Hogan. And I can announce that this fight is already sold out. So within 24 hours of going on sale, there's no more tickets left to come here to the Newcastle Entertainment Centre and see Tim Zhu take on this man here, Michael Zarafa. We'll have a talk to both of these fighters as well as the promoter from No Limit Boxing, of course, George Rose, but uh, an incredible achievement to sell this fight out so very, very quickly. And now your focus has to turn to main event television where you can watch this fight. July the 7th, it will be a Wednesday night available in homes, of course, and pubs and clubs across the country with a stacked undercard as we see each and every time from No Limit Boxing Promotions. We've got a special announcement to come up in a little while here as well at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre, but I'll just have a quick chat with George Rose. And George, first and foremost how incredible that this is already a sellout how does that make you feel mate it's amazing I think the the first time that we came to Newcastle um, and we had the fight sell out in eight days I thought that was really impressive and then for this to happen in 24 hours it shows how much the Newcastle people love the fights they love the good fights and it's a credit to these boys here too in that they're two of the best boxers in Australia so the Newcastle people know that this is going to be a fantastic night of fights and we haven't even announced the undercard yet too so there's there's a lot more great fights to come along but these guys are really going to set this place on fire. It's going to be a lot different to, to what it is at the moment. It's very bare in here at the moment but when this place is, is rocking on July 7th it's going to be a hell of a night. I guess the focus now turns to you and the team at No Limit. How do you create some more seats in this venue? Well, look, we're, we've been walking through here having a look at what we can do. I see there's some rafters up here that might not be used on the night. We could hang some, hang some seats down from the rafters or something like that. It might be a, I don't know if, uh, if that's an oh and s issue here at all, um, but we've got to make something happen. Cut a, cut a hole in the roof, I don't know, we'll, we'll do something. We've got to get a few more people in here, why not? These walls don't look altogether necessary, do they? We could knock <laughs> them down. I don't, I don't know, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think, what do you put it down to? You've, you've talked about um, the fact that these are two of the biggest boxers in the country, uh, two of the most followed boxers in the country. What do you put down to the fact that uh, we've already sold this out? Look, I think when you're at the, when you're at the top of the tree like these guys are, um, there's, there's a lot of tension on who's the best. There's, there's a lot of tension between the two on who's the best boxer in Australia because essentially that's what this fight is, is, is to see who the best in Australia is. And at the moment, Tim Zhu's well regarded as being the best and Michael Zarafa wants to be that. So um, there's tension there. I, I know there's tension there. I saw, we saw it at the, the previous press conference when we didn't, we didn't think much was going to come. But once the word started, these guys, you, you know, you can tell that they're competitive guys, that they, they want to beat each other, well and truly want to beat each other. And you can, you can hear it in their words. And, and I think um, the, the little explosion of words that we had at the original press conference People want to see this fight. I want to see this fight. I really do want to see this fight. Talk about the atmosphere that we saw here when Tim Zhu fought Dennis Hogan, when the crowd was chanting Zhu Castle and uh, everyone was on their feet. Um, what was it like? Mate, it's, it's one of the best experiences that I've had in this game at the moment. As a, as a boxing promoter, um, that's the type of thing that you want. You want to be in sellout venues where people are absolutely loving it, going nuts. And... I didn't realise how many people up here loved Tim Zhu and the Zoo Castle chants were, they were going off. It was, it was unbelievable. I thought, particularly with Dennis Hogan, he'd bring a, a strong Irish crowd who are very vocal, but the Zoo Castle fans well and truly outweighed them. And, um, mate, it's, it's given me goosebumps thinking about how good it was that night when the crowd was going nuts for this bloke. And if people can't be here on the night, of course, uh, they have to turn to main event television. Um, it all bodes for an enormous pay-per-view audience. Oh, it's, it's the second best seat that you can get. You can either, for the, for the 6,000 lucky people who are going to be here on the night, it's going to be fantastic. But to be sitting at home in the lounge room watching two of Australia's best boxers go at it here at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre, that's the best place to be. So main event, KO Sports, wherever you can get it, get on. Thank you very much. That is George Rose from No Limit Boxing Promotions. I'm joined by the former Commonwealth champion, the pretty boy, Michael Zarafa. Michael, welcome to Newcastle. Having a look around this venue, um, how does it make you feel knowing that uh, not too far away you'll be having one of the biggest fights of your life in this very venue? Uh, it's unreal. You know, the, the venue's amazing. Uh, I wish it was tonight. You know, it's electric. I can't wait. Eight weeks tomorrow. Um, 
you know, it, it, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an awesome fight. Um, you know, this is what the five fans wanted, and uh, I'm just glad to be. I'm grateful to be a part of it. You know, you would have seen that fight between Zoo and Hogan in this very venue. Um, how did it make you feel when you could hear the crowd chanting Zoo Castle and then you could see Dennis Hogan with uh, all the fans turning in on him? Yeah, yeah look, you know, Timmy stepped up and, uh, you know, disposed of um, Dennis pretty early. But um, I think, you know, come final, it's going to be a different different fight. Um, you know, I'm ahead of things. I'm training really, really, you know, um, hard. And um, I'm just excited. How does Zoo Castle make you feel hearing that and uh, <laughs> knowing that you're probably going to hear a whole crowd chanting it against you on that night. That's all right. Like I said, that's the difference between good and great. You know, I'll block it out. I've fought in bigger stadiums before, um, you know, against bigger caliber guys in Cal Brooks and stuff, you know, 20,000 people uh, on a matchroom promotion. So, you know, I know I can do that. Um, and like I said, it's, it's going to be war. But you've never fought in a stadium that's named after your opponent before. How's that going to feel? No, that's all right. Uh, I said they can rename it after I beat him. What will they name it then? No, oh, mate, you can call it whatever you want. It's a Rapperville. All right, well, they'll look into that, I'm sure. Um, Michael, what's the response been uh, to the first press conference to you? There was a, a war of words. It was um, very well viewed and uh, everyone had a reaction. Uh, how did people respond to you? Oh, look, you know, it's, it's just great for, for the sport. You know, the real winners are the, are the fight fans and the sport itself. But like, you know, George said, you know, two of the best in myself and Timmy going at it. Uh, what more can you ask for? Um, everyone's getting around it and it's great whether you're, you're following, you know, supporting me or you're supporting Tim. Uh, it's just great for the sport and uh, like I said all the talk stops now and uh, you know I've got huge respect for him and his team and and uh, I'm sure they do the same and like I said it, it all comes down to July 7th and uh, yeah, that's when all the talk stops. Did you feel that there was anything that was left unsaid that day? There was a lot of back and forth. Um, anything that you need to clarify? No, not at all. Like I just said I was one of the, the fight fans and the people that tuned in to know the you know, the, the rules are rougher. And, um, you know, we, we wanted this fight and I'm sure they wanted the fight, but there was a lot of backwards and forwards. But um, it's here now. And like I said, the talk stops. And, um, you know, may the better man win. This is what it's all about. It's boxing. It's a sport at the end of the day. And as long as me and Timmy go in healthy, we come out healthy, that's all that you can ask for. And um, it's, 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 it's a great fight. You made an allegation the other day that um, Tim pulled out of the first fight with you and sent a picture of his grandfather's hands uh, saying that it was his hand injury. Do you stick by that? Look, you know, I, I did receive photos and, and whatnot and, and whatever reason, I apparently had a staph infection or whatever it may be. But um, look, you know, the fight didn't go ahead from the, for that reason. So, I mean, that was my, uh, my backbone and what I was falling um, up against. But again, the fight's here. Um, you know, everything happens for a reason. So the fight's now escalated to a bigger um, and more, you know, people tuning in. So this is what it's all about. You stood face to face with Tim Zhu the other day. Um, what did you take out of that? Uh, how do you feel his head is going into a fight against you? Uh, look, you know, I know deep down he knows I'm going to be his hardest test. Um, you know, he's fought great guys and you take nothing away from him. He's, every fight he's getting better. Um, from his first fight to his last fight, he's uh, a champion. He holds himself really well. Um, but look, you know, I, I've been in there with some big boys and, and Hart's going to play a big role in this fight and um, I'm a different calibre. You know what I mean? I'm not going to make any predictions, but I know I'm going to be his hardest, his hardest fight. Mick, how does it make you feel that they've flown you here today to unveil the fact that this stadium is now going to be called the Zoo Castle Entertainment Centre? You've been brought across the country to essentially honour what's about to happen for your opponent. It doesn't faze me. Like I said, I've got a job to do. I know we've got 30 minutes of, of work um, and that's all I'm focused on is getting that W. Um, everything else doesn't matter. After the fight, you can, we can worry about all that stuff. But all I'm focused on now, you know, I was up at four in the morning. I got my run in, you know, uh, flown out here. I've got training when I get back. Um, and it doesn't stop for me. We're working. We know we've got a big task ahead of us. And when we lose or draw, like I said, I'm gonna, the best Zarafa will rock up. That is Michael Zarafa. We'll now talk to his opponent, Tim Zhu. Tim, very different Michael Zarafa we've got here today, isn't it? Yeah, it wasn't like last time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you look back on what happened the other day? Look, it's just two different beliefs, uh, two different opinions. Um, that's all it is. We're, we're both competitive fighters and um, none of that matters anyway. He does say that you pulled out of a fight and sent him a picture of your granddad's hand, though. <laughs> you should still... <laughs> <laughs> No, look, I, that's untrue. Um, I'm not going to start pulling facts and trying to throw evidence in, but it's not true. 
What about the fact that this venue sold out within 24 hours? Um, an incredible achievement for any boxer, but knowing that they're coming to see you, how does that make you feel? Look, people appreciate this fight. Um, people want to see it, and, and that's all. Look, it talks by, by, by this. Um, hopefully we get good pay-per-view numbers. And the, the main thing is that the whole Australia is excited, and it's not just Australia, but the whole world, the whole world's going to be watching. Um, my fights just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and then this is what I was born for, you know. If you if you do boxing, you want to be doing things like this, is, is creating uh, stadium fights and, and coming to to fights like here uh, to be selling out in 24 hours um, means we're doing something good. What did it feel like for you when they were chanting Zoo Castle against Dennis Hogan? Excited. I got I got a bit too excited actually. So uh, this time I gotta try relax a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it is exciting. Um, fighting Jeff Horn in a stadium was was unreal. But, but to come here to, to Newcastle and to fight in, in this stadium, um, in this arena, uh, it was something that was uh, more special and more electrifying and um, something that I'll, I'll always cherish uh, for the rest of my life. Would you have any advice for Michael on how it's going to feel when they're chanting Zoo Castle? Look, he, he might have fought Kel Brook in, um, in England in front of 20,000 people, but... Trust me, this is going to feel like 50,000 people against you. Um, it's intimidating. Um, but look, it's a, boxing is a, a, a one-man sport. So as much as the, the fans are here to, um, cheering out your name, it's, a, it's you that's, that's punching and it's you that, that's fighting. Is it going to be intimidating, Michael? Not at all. Like I said, the, the difference between good and great is the ones that can block it out. I have a job to do and I'm not, you know, fussed by the hype. And, and you know they can call, they can scream zoo, they can scream whatever they want. Um, my focus is on the fight, and that's that's all that matters to me. Um, Tim, we are going to make a special announcement about the renaming of this venue. Um, only relatively early in your professional boxing career, that must feel pretty special that um, there's a venue already willing to put your name on it. Yeah, it's it's unreal. Um... I'm grateful, I'm blessed, I'm lucky, um, but this hasn't come overnight. It's 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 a lot of hard work, uh, consistency. Uh, put myself through through hell in training, in fights, uh, taking out everyone that I could possibly fight, um, the best in Australia, um, and it's led to this moment. Of course, people are going to try and get uh, any tickets that are re-released or put on sale via No Limit. Otherwise, they're going to watch on main event television. What are they going to see on the seventh of July, Tim? Um, look, I've got eight weeks of hard, hard prep. Uh, started a long time ago anyway. Um, again, eight weeks to, to get myself into the best possible shape in my career. Um, and you'll see the best Tim Zoo. OK, time to make that announcement and to unveil the renaming of this venue. I believe that this is the first time that this has occurred here in Newcastle in nearly 30 years. Tim's going to get up and head over and unveil the fact that the Newcastle Entertainment Centre for the 7th of July, when Tim Zoo fights Michael Zarafa, will be the Zoo Castle Entertainment Centre. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we are in Zoo Castle. All of these gentlemen are available to you for your one-on-one -on -one interviews. We're going to head out the front as well and have a look at the front of the Entertainment Centre, which is now labelled the Zoo Castle Entertainment Centre. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, stay with us for a little bit longer. Get your interviews and we'll head out the front and uh, you can see what is going on here in Newcastle. I'm Ben Damon. I'll see you at the fights.